Here's a lovely A star question involving proving two things are parallel with vectors. To cut a long story short, to prove two things are parallel using vectors, you need to show that they are multiples of each other. But let's do the actual question. OPQ is a triangle, OP is 2A, OQ is 3B. Find PQ in terms of A and B. Well, to get from P to Q, we'd have to go down to O and then up to Q. We can't go straight across because we don't know what vector that is. To get from P to O, we'd have to go against the arrow, opposite to the direction of the arrow. So it wouldn't be 2A, it would be minus 2A. So PO is minus 2A. Now from O to Q is simply the vector they gave us. So that's 3B. Adding those together, we would get what PQ is. So PQ is minus 2A plus 3B. We went this way and then across. And that's our answer to question one. Question two, X is a point on the line PQ such that PX to XQ is two to three. Now I covered this in another video, but when ratios come up, my number one tip is to write the number next to the line. So here, PX is the first term, so that corresponds to the 2. So let's write a number 2 next to PX. See, it's the first one on the left, and this is on the left. XQ is on the right, and 3 is on the right, so that corresponds to the 3. Now you can see the whole line PQ adds up to 5. This means that PX is 2 out of 5. And that also means x uh, q is 3 out of 5. This is going to be really helpful because it means that p to x is 2 fifths of the whole distance of p to q. Same thing, x to q is 3 fifths of p to q. Notice it's going in this direction though, it's going from p to q. That's what we know so far. Q to P would be the opposite, but let's not worry about that. We're going to go in this direction. Question two, show that OX is parallel to the vector A plus B. Before we can find out if it's parallel, we need to find out what OX is. So OX, how are we going to get there? We could go along here and then kind of backwards along PQ, but that's more complicated. That will involve lots of minuses. So let's go O to P and then P to X, because then we're going with the flow of P to Q which we already know. O to P is 2A. So we have 2A so far. This is working out O to X. 2A so far, that's to get us from O to P. Now we're going to go 2 fifths of the whole distance P to Q. This is where the ratios come in handy. We're going to go 2 fifths of P to Q. But what was P to Q? We know that. We've done the work already. P to Q was minus 2A plus 3B. Uh-oh, we've got brackets. You know what that means. It means we're going to have to times it out. Okay, so we can't just leave it like this. We need to do 2 fifths times minus 2. That would be 4 fifths or minus 4 fifths. So we have minus 4 fifths A. Now 2 fifths times 3 is 6 fifths. A bit of fraction knowledge is going to come in handy now because now we need to add 2a and minus 4 fifths. Hmm. To do that, what I would do is convert the 2a into something fifths. In this case, it would be 10 fifths. If you think about it, 10 fifths is 10 divided by 5, which is 2. So we have 10 fifths of a minus 4 fifths of a, the plus and the minus just become a minus, 10 take away 4 is 6. So we have 6 fifths of a, and we also still have 6 fifths of b. Now how does that show that it's parallel to the vector a plus b? To do that bit of the question, we're going to need to factorise. But don't worry, it's quite a simple factorisation. What do they both have in common? They both have in common 6 fifths. So we know now that OX 
is 6 fifths times A and 6 fifths, let's do it next to each other, 6 fifths times B. So we've factorized. And we have at the same time proven that it's parallel to A plus B. How? Because we've proven it's a multiple. A plus B is a direction. Just think of it as, I don't know, northeast. OX, we're saying now, is just northeast, but just go six fifths along northeast. But we've proven it is in the direction of northeast. In other words, we've proven it's parallel to that direction. So that's question two done. Finally, what about this third bit? OXY is a straight line. QY is the vector k times a, where, a is a, where k is a constant. Find the value of k. OK, to find the value of k, we need to realize that if OXY is a straight line, that means again that it's parallel. Parallel doesn't just have to mean two separate lines. Like everyone knows that these two lines, if I drew them, are parallel. But you can be parallel and just be the same straight line. So this line, and if I've done it correctly, this line. These are also parallel. They're part of the same straight line if you joined it up. So if we could only prove that OX and OY are parallel, or if we know they're parallel because they're the same straight line, that would solve this question. Well, OX, we already know. That's brilliant. What about OY? Hmm. OY. Let's go O to Q. So O to Q is 3b, isn't it? So that's 3b. q to y, hmm, q to y, well, they've told us that's k times a. So let's just write k times a. In fact, we could put the a's first, so call it k times a plus 3b. Now, it has, that has to be parallel to o to x, remember, because parallel and starting from the same point means it's a straight line, which we know. What could k be, though? Well, we know o to x has the same constant, the same coefficient, 6 fifths. 6 fifths times a and 6 fifths times b. That means k and the 3 must be the same, because then it will be parallel. If we called k 3, this would become 3a plus 3b. In other words, if we factorized 3 times a plus b. And that would prove, because we've made it a multiple of that famous a plus b, we've proven it's parallel to a plus b and parallel to ox, which is 6 fifths a plus b. So k must be 3 to make it parallel to a plus b and therefore parallel to ox. The one thing I want you to take from this video is, and you can look back over it because it was did get quite complicated at times, is that basically to prove two things are parallel, you need to find those two things, find the two vectors, work them out, and prove that one of them is a multiple of another. That's everything we did in this video. We were told that we had this vector, a plus b. We showed that ox was a multiple of that vector, a plus b. Here with OY, we were told it's on a straight line, so that means we knew it must be a multiple of A plus B, which means we knew K had to be 3. And that is the secret to parallel vectors.